Hello, ho, ho. Welcome back. Thanks again for joining us. And uh, got another Minecraft survival series video for you. Uh, vanilla Minecraft. And uh, let's get right into it. So, we need to take this furnace. And we also need to craft a new pickaxe since we have just uh, broke just broke our pickaxe. Uh, we'll also need a shovel. And then we'll take the crafting table. Actually, I uh, need some torches too. Um, so let's uh, get some torches real quick. Like a so. There we go. Now we can break the crafting table. And we have transferred all of our good goods to the, um, near the base location. So uh, I saved us uh, some time off screen doing that. I have also removed almost all the fences in this room here. And we are done with the mansion. So we shall continue. Um, I have removed a fair uh, amount of carpet from the mansion. I got two stacks of red and two stacks of white and we have all the good goods that we are wanting so let's continue and attack this witch right here. There we go. Maybe get something snazzy from the witch. Maybe. Let's see. I'm kind of stuck in this hole there. There's a creeper nearby so we don't want to Let's just make that hole bigger, see if we can find any, uh, iron or something. There we go. No iron. We messed up the doorway on there. At least now we have some stairs to get out of here. We'll take some of that stuff. And, uh, let's mosey on. So, <clears throat> the Woodland Mansion is the bottom left corner. And our base will be at zero zero on the map in the center where you have seen that I have already gone. And <clears throat> this episode will be focusing on um, a little lag there. Apologies for that. But uh, this episode will be focusing on uh, the new base location and as well as um village so there's a village nearby our base location so we have to uh, make sure the villagers are safe and uh, we'll make sure we protect them so there's at least three villagers uh so we don't have to worry about that i had actually already recorded probably four of these Minecraft videos on this seed and then I realized that um, there was no there was no villages on the seed and when you load um, when you load the world the like say the woodland mansion the <clears throat> uh, temples and what have you those will all be the same regardless of if you load the seed in creative mode or survival or regardless of how many times you load the seed it'll always be the same but the um the villages will randomize so the villages will actually be different from each time you you create the world and as luck would have it, the, the first time that I had uh, loaded this seed and recorded about four videos on, on here for the channel, um, we didn't have any good villages. There was one village and it only had two houses and two villagers and when I went there, two of them had already been attacked by a a zombie and turned into zombie villagers <clears throat> so we had to restart the seed 
and uh, make sure that there was at least one good village in it for the series. <clears throat> so we are good on that. Um, and I did go to the base location, like I said previously, and did a little bit of work on it to uh, save us some time. Because if I showed every tiny little thing that I do uh, on this series, then I'd have like 10 videos that are like a half an hour long of just mining. And that would not be very interesting. So I saved you the misery of watching watching me mine a bunch of cobblestone or something. Uh, let's make sure we're still going the right direction. We can go a little bit more to the right. So there's things that need to be done on screen. And there's certain things that can be done off screen for the series. So I hope that's alright with y'all. It's just the way it is. The way it's going to be. Regardless of what anybody says in the comments. But I do appreciate the input and the comments. Uh, that's why there's the comment section. Um, so I believe this hill here is <clears throat> somewhere near here. Um, yeah, it's this hill here. <clears throat> we just gotta go to the other side of it. Let's grab some of this coal real quick. Might as well while we're here. And we won't have to later. Alright, let's grab that cobblestone. One more. Oh, nice. This is a pretty good pocket of coal. Alright, so I had built a dirt fishing shack off screen, but we are going to re renovate it, remodel it um, on screen for y'all. Um, but I'm going to need a fair amount of sand for glass uh, windows, and I'm also going to need a fair amount of wood. And if you look at this torch right here, that will be zero zero on the map and this is where our base is going to be down these stairs i have already used one full pickaxe and mined a nice staircase down there and i wanted to show you all the uh base area location before i did too much to it it's there's not really any trees um i did plant that big tree right there the oak tree very snazzy and I also planted this tree right here. Um, I'm going to plant some more, like one there, a few down there, over here, you know, kind of make it so it ain't so wide open. Over yonder will be a little bit of a, a beacon point so that, like, I think the mansion is over that direction. So that if we're exploring, we can see this torch from almost any direction and it'll help guide us back to our base so that'll be that um i'm gonna continue mining a little bit in the the base location down there we're gonna mine all the way down to y uh five four or five i believe um that is the village i was talking about over yonder we'll go over there in just a moment here is some more coal, so let's grab that real quick. Mm, some of it. And this is the dirt fishing shack. Um, so yeah, it's just a dirt fishing shack. I have taken a, a dark oak door from the Woodland Mansion. And these are all the good goods that we got from the Woodland Mansion. And thus far in this series, um, so we'll have to move all these into the base later once we have it all mined out, ready to go. Um, but for now, we are going to, we need more cobblestone. And I'll show you why. 
Um, there's a stack there. We can use that. We will also need a bed. We have one white wall. And we have nine gray wool, light gray wool, so that'll be fine. Um, it's becoming nighttime now, so we should uh, get over to that village real quickly. So I can show you what I've done there. Like I said, I'd went there previously and made sure that the villagers were safe. And put some torches around the the village to make sure it was lit up so we wouldn't get a bunch of mobs terrorizing the village too much while I was gone and we're going to build a castle wall around the entire village because this will be pretty much the only main village in the seed and it is a very snazzy one there is lots of gardens as you see here, a fair amount of houses. Some of them don't have doors, uh, but we'll go over here. It has a couple of these uh, little towers, quite a few gardens, and it does have a blacksmith. So we have put a little bit of cobblestone uh, in front of the doors on some of these buildings to make sure the villagers are trapped in there and safe Which is very snazzy Like these fellows they can open and close the doors, but they cannot get out The zombies cannot get them And what have you Get in there, dude, what are you doing? Um and this, this one right here was really weird because it was, uh, way up above the ground there, so I had to build these cobblestone stairs so they could actually get up in there and stuff. Um, so that'll be that. We don't have a whole lot of torches or anything, so, um... Let's go check out the blacksmith real quick. See what kind of good goods are in there. And we have plenty of villagers, my farmer. And some stuff. There's another fellow in here. Hello, sir. And here is the blacksmith loot. The good goods. So we got some oak saplings, iron ingots, iron boots, some bread, more iron ingots, ooh we got an iron pickaxe, that'll be very snazzy, and some iron leggings as well. And I think with that we can have a full set of um, iron armor which would be very snazzy. Let's take, uh, let's put that stuff on. Put the crafting table here. And we're going to need some more torches. Um, and we're gonna need some wood as well. But it is now nighttime and raining. Um, so, actually let's go back to the fishing shack, and we'll craft a fishing pole, and maybe a boat. I just wanted to show you the, uh, the village real quick, to let you know what I have, what I've done, off screen, so it wasn't a surprise for you. So let's quickly go back to the fishing shack. I thought, oh, there we go. Come on. And the best time to go fishing 
is when it's raining. And as well as that, the best way to fish is in a boat. So we're going to see if we can craft a boat and see if we can craft uh, a fishing pole. I believe we have enough string. And um, I don't think we have enough wood quite yet. Um, or maybe we do. And we have a lot of iron, so we can actually craft our anvil, and we will have a full set of armor. Um, so we need wood, and uh, a boat. So let's get our crafting table there. And let's craft a some sticks here. We can make some more torches. Because we have some coal there. Uh, so let's get some more torches. And then let's craft a wooden shovel. Which you need to build a boat. So we need a boat. And as well as we need a fishing rod, so we need to get some of the string out of here, which we have very plentiful. Um, so let's get our fishing rod. There we go. Let's put our sticks away and let's do a little bit of fishing yonder. Um, so we're just going to put this stuff down here for now, try to quickly do this there we go and place our boat hop in it and let's do some fishing here <clears throat> yeah so the best way to fish is in a boat and while it's raining because you will get better good goods and it'll be like having luck the sea without having luck of the sea. So I'm going to pause you all here. We're going to do some fishing until it stops raining. And then we shall continue. And uh, we'll do a little bit mining on the, uh, on the base. So stick around. And uh, if you stick around for the whole video, then we'll have a tip of the day for you. Wow, it's raining on here for like... 25 minutes or something so we'll just get this last cast and uh, we'll be looking pretty snazzy so uh, this is what we got so far 14 salmon 7 puffer fish 29 cod a bone and an unbreaking 3 fishing rod very snazzy so let's put some of them good goods away in the box here um, the top one. So let's go like that. We'll keep this one. We might combine it with our our regular fishing rod there, so it'll last a bit longer. Um, and we're gonna do a little bit of work on uh, mining the base. I guess we got some sugar from that uh, the witch. Um, let's grab some of the carpet and the fencing um the rest of that stuff can stay let's check this one let's get the doors uh the rest of the carpet apples we're gonna need that bow the cauldron leads chicken emeralds those um and for now, that should be pretty schnazzy. So let's mosey. And uh, we're going to plant a few trees, do a little bit of mining. And we need to craft that infinity bow. So let's plant a few trees here. So we will want, we'll want one tree over here, maybe about like right there. There's a creeper and a zombie over there, so we have to be aware of that. 
let's put a tree over yonder, maybe right here. Luckily there's no phantom, so there is some phantoms out tonight. We'll have to be cautious of that as well. Oh, Tookie. Uh, he got us once, but uh, we're not scared. Let's take another one of these right there. Let's put one there as well. Maybe one right yonder. We don't want them too close to each other, but uh, fairly close. Let's see. We'll put one right there. And maybe... Maybe one right, right there. So let them grow. The short ones will be cut down and the tall ones will be left. So let's go down here and do a little more mining. I just, uh, mining in a counterclockwise fashion. And this is where my pickaxe had broken. So let's continue from here. And we have a tip of the day for you. So tip of the day will be don't blame others for your own mistakes. Very simple. So we all make mistakes and what we need to do when we make mistakes is learn from them. Uh, oh no, there's a whole mob of silverfish. Holy macaroni. There was like 10 of them. Wow. Most of them vanished. That was crazy. All right, let's get a torch here. So anyways, this puffer fish interrupted me a little bit. Um, so you want to, let's see, there's one, two, three, four. Um, you want to learn from your mistakes and not blame others for your mistakes. So just own up to your mistake, admit what you have done wrong, and learn from it. And try not to make the same mistake again. Um, we're all human, we all make mistakes, and uh, we need to remember that and be, you know, be reasonable. Oh no, you guys, man, that's, oh my lord, oh no, these silverfish are everywhere, you little monkey butts, alright, we need some cobblestone, I still can hear some, but, man, that is wild, um, so yeah, don't blame other people for your own mistakes. Simple as that. There we go. Um, I think I had something else to add to that, but these silverfish had make me made me forget what I was talking about. Um, so we need to fill that in a little bit. Let's see, these silverfish are messing up my my style, cramping my style. Let's get a torch there, keep on mining here. We need to put some cobblestone up there, I believe. Actually, this needs to be there. There we go. Man, I'm so fresh, we're really messing up my stuff. Um, let me try to think what I was talking about. So, the best thing you can do is admit your faults and learn from them. And don't blame other people for what you have done. Just admit it, learn from it, and, you know, be understanding and reasonable. And then later on in life, when you're in a similar situation, 
before you make the same mistake again, try to avoid doing that. So take preventative measures to prevent yourself from making the same mistakes again. So that'll be tip of the day. I hope you like it. I hope you uh, understand and agree. Um, I'm going to start a new series, which will be motivational speaking, and we will we will do definitions of words, and we will talk about the meanings of those words, what to do what's best to do, what's best not to do, how to, how to be more reasonable, a better person, more understanding, and uh, just a nicer person in general. So uh, if, you, uh, if you like the sound of that, then smash that like button and uh, consider subscribing. That's the only way the channel can grow is with support. Without support, a YouTube channel will die. Everybody knows that. Um, because almost every single YouTuber in the universe says that in their videos. Because it's a fact. Um, so, if you watch our YouTube video and you like what they do, you like what they say, you want to support a good YouTuber, um, then you... You need to do your part and uh, hit the like button, subscribe. Um, you can hit the little notification bell if you like. And that's how they will know that you are a supporter and you like what they do. And that will give them motivation to continue doing what they do. And the uh, channel will grow. And uh, they will keep providing you with, uh, with videos. Um, and now we broke our pickaxe, so we need to, uh, there's a little bit of a cave right here up here, up here, apparently, so let's, uh, let's break this piece of cobblestone and we'll set down a chest. I hear a zombie. Um, there's some coal or iron right there, so we need a chest. So let's kind of peek around here. I hear a skeleton too, but there's a skeleton, but he's he's okay over there. We'll just uh Oh man, come on, I was gonna I was gonna let you just slide by here. You little turkey. Did he give us his arrow at least? Alright, um I grab that uh Let's put some torches down here to make it a little more safe. There we go. I want to get that, that iron right there, but it's uh, a little bit in a spot where I can't really do that. So let's put some of this stuff away here. And we need to craft a crafting table. I know we have a crafting table at the fishing shack, but uh, that's at the fishing shack. It won't do us any good here. And we need a pickaxe. There we go. So, yeah. Um, so I think this will be the end of the video for this one. Um, and I'm going to continue doing some mining off screen. Uh get down to about y y5 i believe and then we're going to clear out a base area maybe 10 by 10 uh ish and uh and then i'm going to put some chests down there the crafting table furnaces um and etc etc and i'll try to save as much of that for uh the next video as i can so I hope you enjoyed, and uh, if you liked any one thing in the video, smash that like button. If you if you like the Minecraft survival vanilla Minecraft uh, series, then uh, smash that like button, subscribe, 
there'll be more Minecraft videos. Um, I'm just going to start posting them daily. And we'll also continue doing landscaping videos. And we will be starting a new series of the motivational speaking. And uh, giving you suggestions how to be a nicer person. To be more understanding, more reasonable, honest, faithful. And just a, a better person in general. So, uh, if you like any of those things, smash that like button. Thank you. Mucho gracias. Later. Peace.